Now, when we make YouTube videos, we have to make an introduction. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go first. Hi, Internet. This is Christina, the amputee OT. And then you say, Hi, Internet. This is Orion. You want to do it? You want to, you want me to make it easier? Okay. Say, Hi, Internet. Hi, Internet. This is Orion. This is Orion. That's Bailey. Can you say, I'm Orion? I'm Orion. Good job! Orion has known me as an amputee for his entire life, but recently I had surgery on my residual limb, and when he saw the wound back that I was using, he told me that he was scared. Right? Were you scared? Yeah. And then when I got my wound back taken off and he saw the staples in my residual limb, he also said he was scared. So are you scared of something? What are you scared of? Oh, you're scared of the white vacuum? Yeah. What about this? Scared of Yeah. You're scared of this? You scared mm -hmm. this? Yeah. Okay. What's scary about it? Yeah. Yeah? Scared of mommy's hurt. You're scared of mommy's hurt? Yeah, that's okay. That happens sometimes. If you're an amputee or you're undergoing any type of surgery and you have a young toddler at home, you might find that your toddler is afraid of some aspects of your surgery, like your sutures or your scar or your bandages. Or if you've become a new amputee and your child is used to seeing you with two full legs, they might say that they're scared because now you've only got one leg. This is completely natural because children are often afraid of things that they don't really understand and that's totally cool. And he says he's scared of lots of things, some things that don't even really make a whole lot of sense. There are a couple of ways that you can approach your toddler or children being afraid of some aspect of your body after you've undergone surgery. One of the things you can do is act like it's no big deal because they will see how you react to your surgery and they will basically copy your reaction. So if you act nervous and scared about it, then they will act nervous and scared about it. It's just kind of the natural consequence of them feeding off of your emotions. Can my leg have a cereal? Give my leg a cereal. Oh, my leg eat a cereal. Well, thank you. Thank you. Can my leg have another cereal? Yay! <laughs> don't eat, Ray. Don't eat. Oh yeah, Bailey. Oh, you don't want my leg to eat your cereal? My leg's coming to get your cereal. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Another thing you can do is involve your child in play, just playing with them in general. But if you're able to incorporate the thing that they're afraid of into play, then that totally works as well, especially for younger children. You can even turn being scared into a type of play. We play all the time acting like we're scared of various things around the house, like we we'll might be scared of daddy or scared of Bailey, and we just sort of pretend that we're scared even though we're not really. He knows I'm pretending. I know I'm pretending. We're just playing. So we incorporate the idea of being scared into play, and then he's not actually scared of it anymore. <gasps> scared! <gasps> scared! <gasps> scared! Oh, we're so scared! We're scared! We're scared! Are you scared? I'm scared. Scary? I'm not scary. I'm scared. 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 <gasps> scared. I'll protect you. That's totally understandable if your own child is afraid of you and says that they're scared about some part of your body that you might feel hurt by that. And that's a totally natural reaction. But just try to remember that your child doesn't mean anything malicious about it. They're just expressing their feelings. And so it's important to acknowledge their feelings. Anyway, if your child is afraid of some aspect of your body after you've had a surgery or an amputation, it's important not to take it personally. Although I can understand if you might have your feelings hurt or you might kind of take it personally. It's totally natural to feel that way. It's important to let your child know that you hear what they're saying. So if they say that they're scared of some part of your body, I would recommend against saying, oh, you don't have any reason to be scared or it's not scary. Because if they're telling you they're scared, then they're scared and their emotions are valid. But at the same time, if you act like it's not really a big, huge deal and play with them and act like everything is basically normal or even incorporate your 
surgery into play in ways that are obviously safe for your surgical site, then your child is likely to get over their fear pretty quickly and see that mommy and daddy are normal and it's nothing to be afraid of. Right? Okay. Now we have to do an outro. Are you ready? Okay. We have to say thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, you do it. Bye. Can you say thanks for watching? Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Good job. See you later. You want to say see you later? See you later, mommy. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Good job for watching. Oh, good job watching. That's a good one. You can say thanks for watching if you want. Okay, bye.